The Snow and Ice Management Association and GoPaw present Anatomy of a Spreader, a three-step approach to preparing your spreader for the upcoming season with speaker Doug Knott, CSP of Knott's Lawn Care. All right, for our spreaders, uh, to tie them down, we obviously have tie downs. So uh, we use these ratcheting straps and they need the mechanisms on them need, need to be lubricated as well. So we spray you know, the mechanisms here on both sides, and occasionally the spring if it needs it, on all four. So our experience is that they freeze up salt gets in there, or debris, or whatever else decides to get in there, and they don't want to, uh, it's not that they won't ratchet, it's that they won't release. So that's our first step. Once we have the mechanisms lubricated on our straps, we're going to start putting them on the truck. So we're going to set up the one to pull it forward first. And then we're just going to snug that up a bit. Not anything tight, just snug. How are you doing on the other side, Jimmy? And this one pulls the spreader forward. Snug that up a little bit. Are you ready? Alright, so we're going to pull forward. Right? Just want to get that a little tighter. And we're doing it at the same time so it's even. We've already, we've previously marked the bed uh, where it's set so the spreader is centered. Did that a couple or last season, so it's easy to pop in. All right, you ready to go forward? Yeah. We try to do it incrementally, back and forth, because we don't want to pull the uh, spreader too far forward, because it'll um, damage the, the lining on the truck. I just keep going back and forth a bit until it's tight and that's pretty good. And then we lock it down. Lock the handles down. And then for neatness and safety, you also tie up the straps. end up just tying them off in the middle. This 
way they don't flap around in the wind. Because if they get frozen and start flapping around, it's just not good. So that's it. Okay, in the, to get ready for the winter, the, the few things on the spreader, uh, the mechanical side that needs to be handled, uh, checked, carburetor, bowl, I like to clean that out, flush it out, make sure there's nothing in there. Uh, spark plugs here, check it, if it needs to be replaced, replace it. Um, hydraulic filter, if equipped, will get changed and if the hydraulic fluid needs to be changed. The, uh, for the solenoid here, for the valves, we put dielectric grease on it to help protect it from corroding. So anywhere there's connections like that, we'll put dielectric grease. Uh, the battery needs to be checked. If there's uh, acid on it, um, the result of acid, clean it off. Uh, you can spray the terminals down with a sealant. And uh, this doesn't have a clutch, so there's nothing that needs to be checked on that. Um, there's uh, between the, sh the drive shaft and the pump, there's something called a, a Lovejoy, which where the two made up. It's it's kind of a, it's, what is it, plastic or rubber? Rubber, rubber that uh, if something goes wrong with the shaft, that'll break first. So it's a preventative, but it, you do have to check it because it, it does break, like you'll see on the top of our spreader, uh, actually the spinner assembly. Um, so that's it for this portion. The final uh, item we do for servicing prior to the season, and some of this is done during the season, so at the end of the season, uh, is, is the greasing and the checking of the chain, the, the drag lift chain, which is here. Normally all you gotta do is fire the machine up, engage the uh, drive and um, just look at it and you may you want to spray it down with some kind of lubricant but look at it make sure it's not bent it's not broken pieces or anything like that. Um, actually one of the things the spread the door to the spreader uh, that controls the flow into the chute area you just want to make sure that works unless you decide to bolt it into a position but, so then we have uh, greasing and inspection of the spinner this is a Lovejoy, uh, like there, I talked about up in the engine area. This will, if there's a problem with the shaft, this will break first. This one's broken and needs to be re replaced, uh, which we will be doing that. So it's broken here and there. And we, we keep these in stock because they break. So um, that'll be, that will be replaced. That's a, it's better that breaks instead of Else. So then you have your grease fittings. For the chain, there's four. One right here, where my pinky is. One on the other side to match it. And then up front. Up front on the top, uh, like at uh, one o'clock, there's a grease fitting. And there's another one on the, same, uh, on the side in the same position. So those need to be greased during the season, or pre-season, during the season, post-season. Constant checking of those. We have uh, grease fittings. There's one up here, up there, and one down there. Uh, again, pre-season you do that, and then uh, throughout the season and post-season. Uh, also on the spinner, you want to check your shaft uh, for straightness and the uh, the spinner as well. Make sure the the wings are not. Um, The maintenance is pretty basic. Uh, grease fittings, lubrication, chain, and then the tie downs. And the principle is forward and backwards, not straight down. Straight down is not going to hold it properly. Forward and backwards. Thank you for joining us. This has been a Sima and GoPlow.com production. Copyright 2010.